Pitch deck or some pre sale, right? And also for public sale use, I put on the website and also smart contract audit, and as well as the really um, um, sophisticated uh, content plan, and all those like things like pre hype as well to get some exposure already before we start the mass uh, massive for marketing. So, in this case, uh, let's go to the slides too, Chris. So we actually yep. uh well actually this slide is actually for kick off the marketing so normally what we suggest to do is for some like airdrop this you can like treat not, not only for airdrop but also some other solutions like to get some uh faster growth of the community first because for all the projects especially from the beginning it is super hard and difficult to get people interested already uh, in the last session i mentioned we can post uh, some like uh, uh contents already on twitter we can get some like uh uh, pre hub before uh, actually went before start and this session when we do this kind of airdrop we also um, needs actually to execute all, all these plans right to really well based on the market plans that is already uh, finished so for this airdrop it will normally consist of like some basic tasks right like those kind of giveaways if uh, you guys right also quite experienced in this NFT and crypto projects right for those giveaways like joint community Tag friends, retweet, like, and post some videos and contents on their uh, blog, right? And also their YouTube, etc. Um, so for this kind of task, for sure, it's important. And how to actually to make people join uh, is is the most difficult part. Then what we do is normally suggest really uh, appealing plan for the reward. What do we see that from those projects that really did well and performed well, right? For the token sale mm -hmm. is that. They will combine a rewarding plan like with the leaderboard. I will also do some like uh, point system, right? So when they finish some tasks, they will do some points, similar like a bounty, which is which was very popular like uh, years ago. But it's really worked well. Like you also post something, some Bitcoin talk. You keep do do some like staking, uh, uh, uh stakes or, or like pointing system to actually award those people who join and motivate them to join. Um, and also when Thing that really need to be care take care is that you know um, for this kind of agile marketing super um, super important part of all the things because uh, sometimes when you actually work with those kind of agile platforms like uh, Bounty OX or like this kind of agile uh, dot io this kind of website because, you know, the number and the activity needs and also the engagement is not so high. So we also suggest work with some airdrop uh, chats like Telegram or Discord. In this case, you also need to check uh, their past uh, like portfolio, which kind of project they work with, and also can check right uh, with those project teams like, okay, if that is organic. For this kind of airdrop, normally uh, we see that it's not really so organic. It's always have some boss join, and also some people actually um, actually do some like a fake act activities actually to, to, to get some more free rewards. It's very common. So in this case, normally uh, we suggest to do is that to just uh, get to write all those security bots really set up ready in their Discord. And um, no matter Discord and Telegram community, this inquiry uh, already worked through the last session, like all those kind of security bot like AFK, like a weak bot. So this really can uh, fill up those uh, low quality of accounts and also bots accounts. Um, other than that, how to promote this kind of airdrop, right? So how to do the mar to market this airdrop to more people, like organic people, is actually we also do some like influencer partnership, like uh, mass mass retweets, right? With the really uh, very proper budget, spend on like uh, 10 or 20 influencers to promote for the airdrop. In this case, that can. Uh, I think you're lagging again. Um, Can you repeat what you just said? 
How about now? Yeah, better. Okay, okay. Yeah. So in this case, what I mean that is that uh, for mm -hmm. this kind of market, audio marketing, uh, it's also quite important, right? We also find some influencer connections here. For example, those uh, Solana-based projects, we can find some Solana-focused uh, uh, influencers. And for those kind of uh, Polygon, we also find relevant influencers. Not, not, no need actually for really like a pins or promotions can be some like retweets first. As far as it is also quite uh, cost effective, we can do like 10 or 20 retweets for this kind of like audio promotion. In this case, we can get more and more organic uh, followers. It's super important because if this uh, organic uh, rate of this airdrop is low, then it doesn't make sense. It is, it's also hard to continue with the next steps. Um, so let's go to the next slides. Um, so the next uh, actually thing is once we uh, run the airdrop, there'll be like, you know, no matter for like for 5,000 or 10,000 people join the community. And in this case, it's also time actually to encourage the community to spread the, the server to the, you know, the friends or the, the acquaintance, right, people. Um, so this can be done by creating a referral program that can be done by a referral, right, a giveaway, short, short, short like activity. And also can be something else like, okay, with any like point system, point system that uh, motivate people really to share with those uh their their other groups as well like okay you come up with some ideas so you actually share something in the twitter and we can reward uh, the project team can reward something no matter for merch and also for some free tokens of some for some free nft um so from the project uh, side actually uh and also they need to find ways to motivate members internally aside from just only of the financial incentive uh, incentives and then another part is super important is that also for some social media rights advertising. Uh, so for example, the banner ads, creative, the creatives, banner ads, promotion, like in Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. So here we can divide that to two parts. So one is PPC and one is banner advertising. PPC actually represent mm -hmm. a paper click. Uh, it's very common than the conventional strategy that uh, you know project actually can try when they uh, work on these crypto marketing uh, campaigns. Also, apply can be applied well to crypto projects other than those conventional web two or you know, traditional projects. Um, it consists uh, it consists of ads, videos, uh, contents, promotion, um, and the graphic design is super important because it's uh, it will be the first thing right that the people will see and. That to really leave a good impression on those kind of like uh, visitors is very important. Just to check right as me and you know, like uh, uh, board apes, like uh, this kind of projects, right? They if when, once you see their social media post, when once you see their NFT, and also the designs, it's really uh, eye attractive, right? Eye catchy. So it is very important to have really uh, expert designer to work on this uh, as creative creatives for promotion uh, for the social media. And also, you know, the project can also uh, ignite their promotion campaigns with like a banner promotion, like, oh, uh, for now, actually over 5K uh, blockchain related websites participate already in the ban banner programs, evaluated programs, the choose the ones that fit your budget. Uh, as far as we see that, you know, like two or three years ago, it's very popular, like a coin market cap or coin gecko, they provide some banners that place you install the pixel right for like uh, Facebook or something like there, and that was actually will run the ads for you. It's based on like uh, impressions per one k, uh, right? Per every one k impression, they will charge like several uh, several dollar or something. And also recently, there this is several years is more like NFT, right? So we also saw that on Rare Tools, they also offer banner promotion, but now they already paused for like uh, half a year. NFT calendar is also a good place for the NFT promotion, Dev Radar as well. Um, so there are many for all of these projects like DeFi, NFT, all those kind of Binance, right, blockchain or projects. So for this kind of PPC and banner advertising, I suggest the project team actually can try with different uh, solutions first. And then for example, Twitter, to the ads, uh, normally what is suggested for sure, they are very strict on those blockchain related ads promotion. In this case, uh, we need to avoid keywords like blockchain or, uh, or crypto. 
Uh, but for some words like a technology or something, it's, it's, uh, it's still fine. And therefore, the target needs to be targeted on those really uh, uh, critical audiences. For example, you can target uh, the audience like uh, similar like those followers for like uh, uh, Elon Musk or Binance, CZ. This can totally work. And also the age, right? Like uh, normally young people are more into this field, like people ages from 18 to like 30. This could be the good target. And for the more details, for sure, also need to like keep testing, like we do a B test, right, for the content. And then you can see, okay, uh, how many impressions and how many CTR and the conversion rates once you run out the campaigns. And then you can actually just focus on that, that can be really work well and keep optimizing during the, uh, the whole progress for the crypto ads promotion. And then after that is some actually tactics for the ads promotion here. So first one, um, no matter who actually is crafting the ads, uh, needs to be really precise and go straight to the point. For example, you want to promote your community. Uh, in this case, it's really hard to actually to get the target link to your Discord community, Telegram community. So no, we, we can consider actually to uh, develop a very simple landing page with the CTA button to your community. In this case, it will be also quite direct actually to get the traffic to your Discord. In the meantime, we can put some basic content about your project on the landing page, which will be good. Uh, and if you actually want to just get some exposure, like getting people more, more people know about your project, it's fine. You can just directly um, point this uh, ad to your current website. It's fine. Uh, other, other, uh, otherwise, then you can just target on the community growth and social media growth, which you can put buttons like I just uh, mentioned. And then also to rework your profile and make it more appealing once users interact with your ads, they are likely to move, uh, move to your profile. This is so also important. I also mentioned the last uh, session. So no matter for social media or Discord, you just actually get all the things ready, like profile, you need to make it really attractive with a good banner, with a, a nice uh, avatar. And for the community as well, for example, in Discord, you have like the, the option to boost the server, then you can actually get the banner, you can get uh, the, you know, the background, customized background for the invitation link, you can get also uh, animated logo, and as well as, uh, as the vanity link, something like that is super important, then you put on your social media with a vanity link, it's, uh, it will be also mean that the team right already uh, means that they're serious about the projects, right? Uh, and then uh, as campaign should contain uh, on action, you want to crowd to take also, it would help you have a catch a CTA phase. So this I also just mentioned. So CTA is quite important because if people are just right uh, from the ads, they're directly to the website and then they just see some normal right the information doesn't make sense. So CTA needs to be very outstanding on the website. Um, and also for the mobile device, um, so it's, it's, it's also quite uh, critical. We get uh, the mobile right, version of the website to really uh, work well and also optimized ads for mobile uh, gadgets. Uh, it, so then when people actually Watch your, video, uh, watch your ads on the mobile, it also can display very well. So about the dimensions of uh, all the ads creatives, it's uh, you need to first test and check it on, on the mobile device and also the desktop meantime. And then it's the, the target setting. So like the ages, the geography and the accounts that follow and their number interest. So in this case, we can actually target on those people interested in Web3. Um, and then after a while, it's also quite important to, to refresh this kind of ads and also optimize this kind of ads because it will not run always good. If you see actually like three or four days that the impression and the conversion rate is lower, then it's time actually to optimize that, like uh, set different targets and also different ages, right? And also different interest keywords for this kind of ads promotion. And then uh, it's more info information on the PR marketing. So for PR, I think a lot of people knows, right? Uh, for the PR, it's a, it's a, it's a very uh, important part, a component actually for all those kind of uh, projects. So here there are actually four uh, different categories of PR. So firstly, the PR platforms. So once you see something like a PZ Newswire or Issue Wire, or oh, this kind of platforms, right? And normally they offer a lot of like packages, like starting from uh, 20 or $30 to 
like thousand dollar. It depends on your uh, budget. So normally they can reach up to like Yahoo, they can reach up to Market uh, Watch, and also some even can do like Bloomberg or Forbes. It depends uh, on how much that cost. Um, so in this case, the part for this kind of peer platform distribution is that uh, you can actually get to your content distributed on like hundreds of thousands of media. Um, the cons actually for this kind of distribution that the quality is not really guaranteed because on most of those publications is not really indexed in Google and other search engines. If you search your project name after publication, it's only like several that are really indexed that you can really find, right? It doesn't really make sense. So you got to also be very careful which they can offer if they promise any indexed uh, amounts of those PR publication. That is mostly uh, most uh, uh, important part that you need to take care. And also second is sponsored PR. So this actually pay directly to those uh, PR or crypto media. They will actually have a sponsored tag or a disclaimer by end of the, the, uh, the post that is sponsored or something. They, this really doesn't make sense because you know it's hard really to tell your community members, okay, we get posted on this kind of website. So we still suggest if there's still any other solution, uh, let's avoid this kind of sponsored PR. Um, and for premium PR is mainly for those high uh, level uh, quality of the PR websites like Bloomberg, as far as I know, they are also quite, uh, right, a lot of like NFT audience there and even some like accredited investors, uh, other retail investors. And also Forbes, C uh, CNBC, these kind of websites. Um, and also for the crypto media, it's in consists of like Cointelegraph, or Decrypt, or, or Coindesk. But the bad part of actually for this kind of web websites is that if you apply any guest article to this uh, media, it's really uh, hardly can be approved. Then for their cost, normally it also like uh, at least like one to two thousand to like over ten or twenty thousand. So it's not really a very ideal solution for the startup projects. But normally we are suggested to do like once the token sale or NFT sale is, is ended, then we suggest like do at least two or three posts a year. It will be very useful, actually. But for the cost efficiency perspective, it's not really so ideal. And then the final one is the guest post, right? Uh, so for now, we really suggest this one. So for example, those kind of like tier 1.5 PR or crypto media, like the CoinSpeaker, CoinAdo, ZY Crypto, uh, CoinGape, this kind of media. Normally, um, if you pay them, it will be like uh, several hundred. And then you can already get some exposure there and they build a trustworthy once people actually try to search a project in search engine, they can find a project mentioned. So it's it's really very useful to build some uh, branding awareness already for your projects. And next one is for the strategy for this VR. So first by the writing issue in press releases, you can show the public that your system allows you to the project and you can share more detail about that. Keep a continuous plan with project update events to bridge the gap between project team and the community. So, in this case, right, the okay, was an event, right? You also keep posting on some like trip options PR platforms. So, always uh, super important to connect uh, the community and the project team. And then it's SEO optimized content, uh, super important with more pickups to be expected, suggested the keywords analyzed before working on the PR contents. So for SEO, actually, I think it's also some uh, something that uh, a lot of people not really take care of uh, once they do this PR. So I think in this case, you need to set up like uh, the main keywords and also like two or three sub keywords. Uh, in this case, in the OPR content, um, then it can have more like, uh, you know, exposure or to also actually because as far as the content is there, we can get some traffic across the project. Then always can I have traffic conversion. Hello? Yeah, your your oh. line is dropping again. Um. How about now? Uh, oh yeah, better. Yeah. Can you repeat again oh, okay. what you just mentioned? Yeah. The second point, right? Yeah. For SEO. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so for this SEO optimized content, uh, it's very uh, important with more pick to be expected, suggested to do keywords, analyze before working on the PR content. So for this part, I think, as I said, right, SEO is not really uh, so uh, taken care of by most of projects, but it's also quite important uh, as far as you can set up like some main keywords and sub keywords for your PR content. And you just write, uh, can expect more like impressions, organic impressions always, since uh, as far as the content still there, right, uh, on the website and posting. So you can keep tracking some organic uh, traffic always to your website and Discord community and also social media. And then it's also keep an eye out for the traffic conversions, optimize the strategy for anything not done efficiently during the progress. So that is also similar like crypto ads. So once we run this PR, we can try to uh, consider some like UTM code, right? For those kind of hub link in the PR. In that case, we can see how many clicks for each page that we can expect. Um, and then if we see anything not really correct, we can also do some optimization like for the next round of PR, um, PR distribution. This, in this way, it can make that strategy, whole PR strategy, really flexible during the uh, progress. Um, next one is email marketing. Um, some background here. So like uh, four years ago, um, the brands have actually earned an average of uh, 32 US dollars in sales or revenue for every one US dollar spent on email marketing. So I think this is already enough to make you know, everyone stop and consider email marketing as part of your crypto marketing strategy. Um, and for a more personalized campaign, email marketing is one of the best strategy to use. Marketeers using this uh, tactic direct their messages to individuals existing as ordinary clients or potential customers. And this strategy also helps you to tell your audience about the latest updates to be better connecting project team and members. So for in this case, for email marketing needs to actually uh, be cautious about some legal issue, right? Because uh, in, especially in Europe, they have a GDPR right regulation. So without the consent of those people, you cannot really send an email or just to buy the email list and then send the emails to them. So you need to actually uh, spend some time on this, like uh, getting some email addresses, right? Either you collect from your community and then uh, you keep sending some newsletter like weekly newsletter is also mainly actually for uh you know connection all this community and server together right to build a, a bridge uh, the two parties together and in the meantime you know once the people really see the updates and also see the potential of the project they also will to share to their friends that is actually the incense in sense of the email marketing here um and then it's actually for direct messaging, um, it, it, that's actually a powerful method of spreading the word uh, about your crypto launch. And this technique may barely fruit when your email marketing strategy fails. However, direct messaging can be uh, counterproductive if you lack of skills to do it well. And uh, these are some tips actually to help do this actually best right experience with that uh, kind of uh, direct messaging. So, First, uh, about your brand, right? You need actually to introduce yourself to your audience and make sure that they really know you well. Um, and uh, then also explain what you do, right? Like oh, those kind of projects, like those features, why you are different. And this could be very useful and be emphasized during the whole process of marketing. And also very important, avoid sending the same message to everyone else. Many people will discover when you are copying and pasting the message. So this person designed a unique message that shows a particular in video. As far as we see, no matter in what list, uh, white paper creation, pitch deck, or social media content and graphic designing, uh, it's like a project that I copied from another successful project. And uh, finally, it's resulted, right? Uh, like a, a dozen projects actually have the similar idea. For sure, if you copy ideas from other people, it's always not going to work. Always only the first party will win this game. So it's important to how to explain that to your show. Uh, Angkor, we lost you again. Hello? Hello? Anchor, we're dropping again the link. Sorry, guys. So we're, we're experiencing technical problems.
Hello, Anchor. Hello. Hi. Okay, can you try speaking again? Oh, uh, yeah. First one. Uh, still choppy. The line is still choppy. It was okay earlier. Hello. Yes, yeah, still oh. choppy. Still choppy. Okay. All right, so refresh. Yep, yep, maybe refresh again. So let's just wait for anchor. Hello, hello. Hello, Anchor. Hello. Yeah. Hello, hello. We can't hear you, Anchor. Are you trying to speak? What happened? We, we still don't. Can you hear Angkor, guys? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hello. Oh, there, there. Yeah, Angkor, can you try speaking again? Um, uh, Chris? Yeah, there, there. There you go. Okay, okay. All right. Sorry, so, guys, where, sorry. where are we? So, from where? What, so, we're starting with the influencers, right? So, this one, the direct messaging. Okay, so don't tell me actually it's all it's all not really explained well. So from no, what? No, just, uh, just the latter part that you were explaining actually. Okay, so you mean the third part, right, of what sending yep. us a message? Yep. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. And the third part, and the third thing is actually uh, to avoid sending the same message to everyone else. Um, and many people will discover when you are copied, you have the copied and post messages. So you. It's Pretty good to design the unique message that suits a particular individual. So, for the explanation on this, no matter for what kind of like white uh, paper or page tag or the social media plan or content graphic to the website design, it's very important actually to keep some really creativity there to avoid actually copying, uh, copying actually other uh, project concepts. Though they are already succeed, but you know, it's really uh, not proper because only, finally only the first one or two wins, and all the rest actually not really gonna happen that. Normally what I see is like this. No matter if you want to take the right, right, like, okay, it's a good concept we can follow or not. But finally, if you want to do some long-term uh, growth or development for the project, it's really super important with some new concept and, uh, you know, some techniques or some strategies some content, website design to really make it uh, different from other projects. And then let's go to the next slide. So here, partnership with influencers. For the important the influencer promotion, we already been talking we uh, uh, together like either first webinar. So the 
uh, empty uh, Discord groups. In that case, we also work uh, talk something about influencers, but in this case, will be like some more explanation and uh, analyze on this part. So, uh, the majority of market players are allocating more to uh, their influence marketing budget given the healthy uh, ROI, right, and expected from that. And for crypto brands, the most popular avenues for promotion are like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Um, for example, the empty brands mainly like Twitter influencer, Discord influencer, and crypto is like YouTube and uh, Telegram influencers. And then we always recommend to do your own research for the correct influencers by checking their engagement followers and the past projects that they worked with, uh, like the, all those kind of portfolios, and uh, it's better also with the, like a dashboard tracking right of their impressions uh, of the past of the past right uh, posts. And then um, the last one actually is to expand your community immediately by reaching millions of new followers. Start by finding influencers that are perfect fit for a project. So. Um, in this case, uh, for the influencers checking, um, what we need to check is actually uh, when they actually uh, have these accounts, right? Um, as far as we see, that's a lot of influencers actually, they just open accounts. It's not really influencers, it's more like they just some got accounts, get some fake followers, and then they promote the service, and then they, after a while, they, they can't get them. It's not really uh, good, and uh, a lot of people actually wasted quite a lot of money and budget on those kind of things. We would rather suggest all those money actually be spent on the most key points right of the project. And then, um, how to choose or create a right influencers. Uh, so, first, audience analyze. analysis is the first step to take uh, before determining uh, the kind of influencer to choose. So, for example, if you are DeFi, if you are NFT, if you are GameFi, you, you need to choose the kind of influencers actually that fit your projects. So you can actually get a, a better range of those targeted audiences by this way. And then choose the right media for your campaign. So to make the right choice is essential to determine your campaign objectives. And after that, it's also very essential to allow them to work with you and check their suggestions for the promotion tactics. For different influencers, they have different solutions, right, for the promotion. Some actually prefers like just uh, like uh, just one retweet or you know the about to campaign some prefers like a longer collaboration um like a step by step so normally uh, we can actually take off this and uh, take some suggestions from their side based on on their uh, followers right per, uh, all those quality and also how they used to do this last one is actually um this can be really done in task so it's very essential to hire a crypto uh marketing agency or crypto expert to help you so uh, just to avoid to spend a lot of, like uh, money on the useless uh you know marketing and after that um it's it's actually something like online events uh and ma marketing so for example, collab with different MA groups like in Discord, the Twitter space, Telegram, uh, and to boost the products to a more audience and convince them to follow. Um, so bring your the best quality audience to share the product ideas online. This actually we can have to reach, uh, reach to a lot like more followers by actually uh, from the product team side, they actually explain further about the project, uh, let more and more people uh, know the value of this project. Um, so like, uh, some, some communities like before for ICO projects, like ICO drops and also something like the, uh, the, the Carter, but we, we're not, we can man too much. And actually it's mainly that the project team actually will based on their own projects, right? The details and they keep researching for really some good, uh, discord or telegram and channels to work with. In this case, they can actually, uh, do a worldwide audience coverage and beginning to end administration and high quality assurance, right? With some legit uh, and, and, and MA groups while actually sharing some free tokens and some empty people whitelist. Um, and the last one will be uh, how to measure the efforts. Once we do all this marketing, we need to have a way to check how it works, right? Then we can make a, a solution, a lot of optimization on this kind of strategy. So for social media, normally we have a dashboard like for Twitter, Instagram, or a Google Ads, right? And no matter where we have a dashboard, we can check the impressions. We can check also how many people 
click the link, etc. And for websites, uh, it's mainly GA, so Google Analytics. You can find all those traffic. You can find where the traffic came from, etc. And then for PR, uh, by inserting some UTM code to check for the impression and uh, clicks. Um, and for Discord, uh, they also have a dashboard to check, okay, how the geography, right? So analyze for the people joined, like for example, if a lot of people join from uh, a certain country, uh, for sure that that is not ideal because normally for the good product, they aim for worldwide uh, audiences. And also the messages, the engagements, right? Uh, also can be tracked in Discord. So yeah, that is all for today. So I uh, hope that is all, uh, hope actually explains some of your questions. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Angkor, for that lesson for today. So any questions, guys, so far with regards to crypto marketing? Tokenminds.co and Tokenminds Academy are the same. Actually, yeah. So Token Minds Academy is our free webinar lessons. And uh, we are a Web3 agency to start with. So we just, we're just sharing firsthand information and knowledge about our experience and our expertise as Web3 marketers. All right. I see where mouth is typing. What's that? Okay. I have okay. a question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, is get, getting a paid influencer worth it on crypto marketing? Hello? Yep. So can go you ahead. actually uh, repeat, that? repeat that again? Uh, is getting a paid influencer worth it on crypto marketing? Uh, you mean is that worth it, right? For uh, crypto marketing with the influencer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, about if that worth it or not, right? So because you know, uh, we have been like also right witnessed a lot of like, projects for the crypto, like no matter. Uh, token project on NFT projects, right? It's super important, but you know, for all the kinds of marketing, right? Uh, the most important that you choose the correct uh, partner in this case, because I'm not sure if you also saw some situation like um, if any project that I work with, any project, right? Or, or any influencers, and they actually didn't really work well, like, okay, uh, it's not really reached the, to the targeted member of growth, it's not really organic enough. So in this case, I uh, also mentioned that just now, right? Uh, the you know the the last session, session. So it's super important actually to do some really um, sophisticated research. For example, those comments, right? Those followers quality. I think you may need to spend like quite some time, like to working through those right retweets or comments to see all, all these people, right? If they are to the quality, to the profile quality is good enough to see if they are organic enough. I uh, know as far as you find actually good. Influencers is really uh, quite important. And on the second part is the budget. Um, so I think for most of the startup projects, it's, it's not really a lot of budget, right, for this influencer promotion. And once they actually choose the wrong one, it will be already a great loss from the beginning. And then maybe they need to really pass on project because of this. So in this case, I suggest also just to do some like two or three, right? Maybe retweet one retweet, one influence promotion to see actually the strategy of their vetting the influencer is correct. If that is on the right track, okay, we can continue with more, right? As far as we can spend like several hundred, we can get some enough people, organic people to join the community, right? So that is actually uh, how I see for this kind of influencer. It's, it's worth that for sure, but we need to actually find the right strategy for this. Uh, did this answer your question? Uh, so you mean uh, getting an influencer is risky on the crypto marketing, right? Not risky, but uh, I mean that as far right as you can spend some time, like uh, know those kind of criteria, right? How to judge if this influencer is really worth to try? That would be not risky at all. But for most of the projects, actually, they don't really have this kind of like mm -hmm. information or ability, right, to judge this. So normally, that's why we suggest always maybe find uh, a crypto expert 
on this, right? In this case. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Any other questions? Yes. Hi. I'll open my camera. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lorenzo. I'm I'm, I'm, uh, I'm part of the Web3 uh, community, and I have my own uh, startup NFT uh, publishing, publishing house. house. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get here on time. Uh, Barbacusi sent the link on time, but I got to to meetings. Nice to meet everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. I, my question is because you know I want to be laun launching uh, our NFT uh, collection mm. on probably end of summer, Philippine summer of next year, 2023. Although I have to admit, I may have a few ideas about marketing and social media management, but I have to admit there are some points that uh, are only exclusive to the to the crypto industry. The marketing for the crypto industry is a, a bit, uh, or maybe slightly different from the traditional marketing. Um, how, can you give me an advice on how we should do our NFT marketing? Like, we're not really much familiar, or we're not really that much um, still adept on how we should uh, get our um, our NFT products out there for our, our NFT collection. Um, I mean, like, I know it's not impossible because I saw artworks from random kids from part of the globe. The kid's not even known. He made uh, he made a huge amount of money on on the crypto uh, crypto space with his NFT. Because um, uh, I think you need to know about my startup is that the 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 reason why we're selling the NFT collections is that it'll be sort of like a crowdfunding, which is commonly what's being done today in in, in the crypto space. Um, like how do we, uh, how do we like, uh, how do we like, what, what would you suggest for us to do in order for us to gain a lot of followers in the server and, and, in, 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 in our telegram and whatnot, how, how do we do the marketing of it? So it'll be widespread. A lot of people would probably patronize our releases of our, uh, comic book, a uh, comic book NFTs. Okay, sure. Uh, by the way, uh, so uh, just to, to double check, right? You uh, can uh, I can call you Lawrence, right? That is correct. Yeah. Yes, bro. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you, Lorenzo. And also check, right? You are, uh, you actually uh, also uh, having your own project, right? I see that here is AVP Digital Comics and TCO, right, or something. And yeah. also, yes. You also uh, playing as a DeFi specialist and NFT specialist. So I guess actually you'll be also in this right uh, industry for already like years, right? Long. Very yeah. Uh, I've been on crypto since uh, the launch of XRP and Telegram. Uh, oh, I, I did. 2017, I did right? Early then. Yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> I mean, like, it's so no, no, more longer than that. Longer than longer than 2017. Oh. Um, uh yeah so i've i've done crypto mining in literally like the old 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 way like we bought like laptops we bought laptops old laptops and then we used the the video cards for mining because at that time nobody nobody teaches crypto mining at that time it was just us and the internet and then like it was a literal uh, wild west and and uh <clears throat> It was, uh, more, I, I, I think brick and mortar is not even enough to explain back that time. It was on a skeletal phase. So, you know, but I, I kind of stopped on crypto uh, way back then. I did earn from XRP, um, but I kind of stopped because of my mom. She got diagnosed with uh, kid, kidney failure. So I kind of got, you know, I went out the space because I didn't feel well for quite some time. And I recently got back. So... Um, I just wanted to know, like, what would you think or would you suggest for my, my startup to have a more successful campaign in selling our NFTs? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, for, I think for the NFT marketing, right, uh, we, we actually did some work through, through something like the first lesson. Maybe you, are not, you were not there before. But anyway, I think there are some like similarities, right, between this kind of crypto and marketing and NFT marketing. I still have some some difference that's here because I know that you know for now the the market is quite bearish. So uh, and actually, for sure, all the people cannot really afford the failure, right? So if, if they already spent like several months for this concept, from T and also right, uh, like assemble the team and everything. 
So in this case, I think if we want to make a really successful NFT drop, the first for sure, you know, as per we see, right, last, like last year or two years ago, right, so those kind of 2D NFT, those kind of design, yes, right, yes. it's not really so uh, so nice. For now, it's more like 3D or if uh, um, a lot more like a, a combined with the GameFi or Metaverse. Yes. So this yes. is super important, I think, at least to get a nice mm -hmm. design and uh, really a nice story right behind that. Uh, mm -hmm. And all those kind of content plan. These are similar like crypto uh, marketing, right? So everything needs to be really prepared. And for the really marketing, I think, I'm not sure because I also know some projects that actually they did some like uh, DM, right? And like mass, a mass DM solution, right? Um, I'm not sure it's still like working well in, in Discord, but it, is there any solution like you can buy some tokens and use some software to do some DM there? At least get some initial people on board. And secondly, I see that, you know, influencers promotion is important, but finally, yes, if yes. you get some solution here, you can also get some free, uh, right? And you don't need to actually spend a lot of budget and money on those kind of uh, influencer. Once you have actually some connection with one or two blue chip projects, and also maybe you can find a club manager. In this case, that guy needs to know a lot of, he needs to be in this industry, like at least 12, one or two years. He knows really mm -hmm. uh, dozens of those kind of projects. Then he has all these connections and you can try to, a fine one, right? So really, you can trust, and he can take care of all the connections. Like, you can allocate some whitelist. Like, in total, you have, for example, 2,000 whitelist. You can allocate like 1,000 to the color manager. Another 1,000 will be for your own uh, internal right server members. And then uh, this guy actually will keep in touch with you. Like, okay, uh, let's check this project. If we can work with, with them together, let's check with the, these uh, influencers if, if we can actually give him like 10 or 20 watt list, right, for the distribution. And also to actually, um, this is super important, this uh, needs okay. to be ongoing across the whole process. And then it's also important, you know, like I said, it's really have some like unique ideas about the projects, you know, uh, so many projects, why people need to join your projects, right? And uh, one other thing I see that is also quite important to some localized marketing, like uh, China, Japan, right, um, okay. and South Korea. Uh, so a solution how to reach after to this guy is important. I think it can be started from like connecting with several like influencers in in this like uh, in local areas like China or these East Asian countries. Yes, then yes. they can actually to have the broad and also maybe consider someone actually to join different MAs uh, in the local right in this kind of countries that can really help. Um, but for sure, I think this means that you need to also spend some money, right, on those color manager and also those representatives, right, in different countries. But it's really worth that to do. And uh, for sure, the, the also one another important thing is like for the smart contract and, and everything's good, right, because I also saw some projects they they did well, um, and then they just fell because they have had some issues for the smart contract once the meetings happen. Yes. So, but for more details, for sure, uh, I'm glad to talk with you for like, uh, no matter what, email or something, right? Uh, maybe yeah, I can sure. send you my email so we can keep in touch there. It's yeah, not really sure. enough time to talk here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I have like several right. questions about it. I wasn't able to attend, although uh, uh, Barbacusi was able to post it on uh, the group channel. I got like, at that time, I was, um, I think I had a guesting on Twitter space. Uh, yeah, I had a guesting on Twitter space uh, regarding about NFT and vision chain. So I wasn't able to attend. I felt bad because I really need advice on how to do the marketing uh, on, of, of the comic book NFT company I have. And this, uh, this NFT company I'm working on that we combine fashion and NFTs. So it's it's a big thing. It's it's a thing for me that I'm trying to figure out. That's why I was I needed to go here. Yeah, good here. So uh, I think um, I I'll, I'll send you actually DM you later, uh, my cool. email address so we can keep touch there good. for further discussion. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, bro. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for uh, that, Lorenzo. Okay. Salamat right. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. So, any other questions, guys, for Anchor? Yes, Anchor. Go ahead.
Yeah, I just uh, also want to ask if uh, you guys have any other questions. And let's wait. Yeah, any other questions before we end our session, guys? So it's really an insightful discussion today coming in from our audience. Thank you very much. So guys, to those who are new here, just in case you missed our previous lesson, so we have different courses here. So some webinars that we already did in the past are already posted in our forum channels. So we have here crypto marketing, NFT marketing, blockchain development, and NFT development forum channels. So there are one topic per discussion that we did before. So if you missed the previous webinar, recordings are all on these channels for your reference. All right. So these are all free, guys. So any other questions, guys, before we finish this session? Okay, so if none, yeah, uh, or if you are just shy to talk in here, you can just DM me or DM add, add first before DM or tag on the general chat. Okay, so or if you have questions for Anchor, you can send him a request as well and message him or tag him in the general chat as well. Okay, so we'd like to thank everyone who came here today. And uh, just to let you know, we ha we will have another NFT development webinar on Thursday. So we will be announcing the details soon. So just uh, look forward to that post. And yeah, hopefully you will see you again in the next lesson.